Hi, this is Orange Hedgehog 2012 and today I'm going to be doing a plush review on the Sonic X Volume 2 Bokun plush. This is the last plush from this series that I'll be reviewing. So, let's get a start. Um, if I start with his head, um, I could also sort of give you a rundown basically, um, as you've probably seen in my other videos. Um, the other plushes from this set that I've reviewed um, they were available in Japan back in 2004 in the UFO prize catching machines but also they were available in not only in the US but also in Europe from like specialist anime um, online stores I actually bought mine from a website based in Germany called King Player they sort of deal with special sort of anime merchandise. Um, unfortunately, they don't sell him anymore. Um, I got him sort of like at basic sort of retail price. Sort of like, um, I'm not entirely sure if it was 17.99 or 19.99 euros, um, somewhere in the region, sort of like between sort of 15 to 20 pounds. I paid for him, which is quite cool. Um, the only problem I think with um, ordering from Germany is you have to pay um, sort of like a percentage, which I suppose is similar to what we have in the UK, um, VAT, value, Valued Added Tax. So basically, um, with the price I paid for him, plus, plus the um, percentages in tax and shipping, it came to about £25, which is not bad, considering that some of these plushes can go for a lot more um, I haven't really seen any um, any other of these like plushes, so um, you know, just keep keep an eye on eBay and stuff, and even asking forums or you know any way you can really. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going a bit funny. So if we start with his head, they've um, stitched his eyes. Um, I think they've all from this set have been stitched apart from Eggman. Um, the stitching isn't too bad. Um, they've captured sort of like um, the highlights in his eyes where the the reflections would have come to give him sort of like a childlike um, appearance. It can be difficult to see his smile because you've got the black material and they've also used black material as well, sort of like um, a very dark black material for his for his mouth. It is kind of difficult to see. Um, they could have used actually like brown that would have been a lot more uh, visible but I don't understand why they've done black hmm. so that's his mouth and on top of his head you've got the um, sort of purple they've plumped it up a bit it's not just like a strip of like purple material they've actually plumped it up a bit to give it sort of like a 3D 3D um, look to it. He's got his original gold hang string, and that goes all the way back to the back of his um, his head. Um, if we look at his stomach. He's got um, this M shaped emblem. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that represents. Um, he's got the straps for his um, rocket rocket pack as well as his um his belt that's made from the actual M is made from as you can probably tell it's made from like a thick piece of felt. Um yeah it's a single piece of felt. A little bit glue mark there. And this is his arm. His gloves, nothing special. The stuffing actually in his arm is quite stiff. He's been stuffed quite well which is probably why you can see he's doing like a scene from Titanic. <laughs> That's his um his gloves. Very much the same design. I think they're pretty much all the same design for the characters. Um his touch tag. That's his touch tag on the front and on the back. <clears throat> Made in 2004 with the Sega logo, made in China, as always. The earlier ones, some of them were made in Korea. That was like, you know, 
21 years ago, a long time ago, when the first Sonic plushies were made. Since then they're just made in China because it's so much cheaper to make. This is the um, the tag. These are really nice tags. It's very similar with the um, the lighter blue stripes that you can see on the tag. Very similar to the Sonic Adventure 2 tags. As you'll see in my other videos. A photograph of all the different characters. Rouge, I think Rouge and um, Shadow are the more sought after characters. You know, I don't blame people because they're more, they are cool characters. I do like them very much. This is the the back of him. And this is his rocket pack. Um, these features here, they're just pieces of felt that have been cut and stuck on. Um, the black part that you see is just made from the same material as his body. The, um, the black sort of stripes that you see, they're not stitched, they're printed on. And you've got the um, straps around his arm. Oh, right, I see, I've just noticed that. They're not actually connected, they're not for the rocket um, pack, they're just like... Um, I don't know, part of his part of his um design. I didn't realise that. So yeah, this is his shoes. Nothing special, they're just sort of red material. He has got some missing or loose pieces of thread. <clears throat> and this is grey the soles of his shoes, his boots, sorry. They're nothing special, just there's not much detail on them, apart from the seams that you see. So yeah, this is the, the back of him. I'll show the side. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Bokun. Um, he can be quite difficult sometimes to actually get him to sit in place but yeah um that's pretty much it really um if you want to check out my channel i've got plenty more other plush review videos um please feel free to comment or subscribe um and you know thanks for watching guys and i'll i'll see you soon